All right, so I think we've got uh, readies from both players. It is game two of our orange bracket here at CTM Masters, August 2022. It is a classic Tetris tournament played on the Nintendo Entertainment System, the NES. Wow. Wowies. And you're going to want to watch it. Right here, Zeno Phileas against Gerald Freeman. Rollers extraordinaire. Let us count it down and begin. Three, two, one, Tetris. And look at that. Players are getting the same pieces. Beautiful. All right, both players on the board with Tetrises. There is the third one for Joel Freeman, the second one for Zeno Phileas. We got 1,049 in the prize pool. Again, thanks to everybody who's contributed. Shall be satisfied today's big uh, contributor. $1,000, my God. It's like my entire life savings right there. What am I doing wrong in life that I don't have a thousand dollars to spend on Tetris? I'll figure it out. One of these days, I'll figure it out. Pumpy Heart and Mr. Brain really getting into it over a, a debate. But whether something is or isn't happening in the audio on this stream. So now if you're watching on YouTube, you won't hear it for sure. Because if it is happening, Pumpy will just uh, erase all the evidence. 125 for Zeno, 165 for Gerald Freeman. But, you know, you guys, you know, I, I would probably just not talk about it anymore because you know a good friendship could be spoiled over something so trivial so i think you should just probably accept that you're each hearing something happen but disagree on the source of, of why it's happening you're probably both experiencing something real but you disagree as to how why or where it's happening 201 Xenophilius 262 for Gerald Freeman. So you're probably both right in some ways. There's Zeno with the uh, with the Vitz, love it, and bang Tetris for Zeno. So yeah, we'll just we'll just uh, I would advise you to just put that conversation, pause that conversation for a little bit. 269 Gerald Freeman 269 for Zeno Tetris for Zeno love these same piece set matches it's a great when players have the ability to do that big debate and it doesn't matter does it not matter but you know it definitely matters to the fans and you love to see those moments where things sync up or you know they're both experiencing the same drought or they both tetris with the same long bar i mean you, you love to see all that stuff so it definitely adds something but for the longest time players would uh you know even though even if they had the option they would choose not to use same piece sets and actually some players choose not to do it not because they don't think it matters, but because they think it does matter. And the, like, you know, the be generally speaking, the better player 
would uh, you know would most often choose not to do it because uh, luck in a way favors the you know kind of the less skilled player and if a less skilled player they are incentive to increase luck so you see that sometimes uh, some of these players it's always amusing to see that but they're like no same pieces you know I think Dog and Andy do that. <laughs> or have been known to do it. Not, maybe not all the time, but sometimes do. All right, Tetris for Gerald. There's a nice long bar into the middle of the stack for Zeno and one to cap off a Tetris. 444 Zeno, 490 for Gerald. AV Geek is there. What's going on? Well, I'm convinced that this Mac is much more stable for streaming. Whatever it's... Uh, challenges which we will work out but i think it's more stable so we have not had lag and slowdowns and all this other stuff 559 transition for gerald freeman the speed increases by 50 percent 50 percent from 18 to 19 so if you were going 50 miles an hour on 18 you're going 75 miles an hour on level 19 that's pretty significant. All right, both players into the blue level, level 20. Oh, there's an interesting long bar. Oh no, Zeno in trouble. You know, 19, still one wrong move. And rollers can get out of this kind of stuff, but you know, not easy and not guaranteed. Zeno digging up high. Oh, wow. Gets that Z over. Oh, and gets the long bar. Oh, my God, Zeno. That long bar over. And Zeno, I think, is going to dig his way up, uh, dig their way out of this. Um, holy moly. And look at this survival from Zeno. So goaded. When you think it's over. <laughs> when you consider it concluded. So 613 Zeno, 715 for Gerald Freeman. So Gerald is going to Tetris here. There's one for Zeno. So about a just under a 75,000 point lead for Gerald. That's about uh, two and a half Tetrises or so. Holy mackerel. And Zeno just trying to get this stack back down to something that resembles normalcy. And yeah, frustrated by the assortment of pieces uh, on offer. Gerald getting up a little bit high as well. So taking some burns. Zeno set up for the dirty and just waiting on that long bar and that long bar is taking its time that's for sure oh finally gets a long bar and of course has a cover well because you know why not bang tetris for gerald 861 741 for Zeno, and a dirty tetris for Zeno. Zeno, amazing survival and Gerald has been, you know, very consistent. Had some minor dust ups to clean up, but that's okay. About oh no, that long bar on the left for Gerald should be able to roll a piece over there and does. But it's not what you want it to do. You want it to be able to pile on some points here before 29. And Zeno into 29 at 919. Tetris for Gerald into 29 at 961 or so. And here we go. So Gerald ahead by a Tetris. And now all pace and all that is out the window. It's about balancing survival and aggression here. And a lot of it is survival. And it's a little bit of a game of chicken. Like who is going to go aggressive? Who is not? Can you continue to just play a, a you know, a safe, you know, quote, safe game here uh, post kill screen and it looks like players electing just primarily to stay alive 988 for Gerald 960 for Zeno still behind by 
uh, a little less than a Tetris. And players, yeah, players are staying alive. Gerald set up for a Tetris and gets it. Column 10 Tetris, A54 for Gerald, 981 for Zeno. So we'll see if that's enough for Gerald to put pressure onto Zeno. And I think that's kind of what this game becomes. This is why I don't I don't think you need to go to you know line cap so quickly. Because I think a lot of the strategic things will kind of work itself out. You know, players will figure it out. You can overreact to things. Oh, tapping exists. Let's we need a 29, you know, line cap. Well, the people figured it out. All right, there's the max out for Zeno. A14, A92 for Gerald. Zeno just trying to get this board into some semblance of order. Singling, doubling, dependent down the middle. And yeah, he's not going to be able to do anything. <laughs> Zeno going to top out level 36, A25. So the 1.025. Gerald with the 1.125 here on 37. And Gerald gets heart number one. Boop. Oh, wait. See, look at that. Those hearts are moving a little bit. That's not good. Let me see if I can fix that. All right. We got two ready players. It is game two in this best of five match between Xenophilius and Gerald underscore Freeman. Classic Tetris Monthly Masters event. Both players ready. 3 2 1 Tetris. Now we got a Texas. I think it was like the second Texas this stream. Oh, we had a redemption for a scary deep voice countdown. Um, I don't know. My mix uh, my um, my mixing board is kind of messed up. And I'm not sure if that'll happen, but I will try to do it. And if not, then uh, then we'll refund it. But I will try. There's a dirty Tetris. Very, very dirty for Gerald. The Texas rate hasn't been lowered since Austin Qual. Oh, yeah, we should... We should probably lower that also you know not, not get canceled you know very people hate texas right now so maybe we should before we get canceled like, they're promoting texas oh my god they hate whoever you know it's, it's going through a rough patch right now 102 for gerald freeman uh and Zeno has yet to tetris <laughs> what Texas rate do you need to max out? Oh, my God. Fractal says it's raining somewhat hard right now. Hope uh, hope he doesn't lose power. We'll see. So, you know, finally with a Tetris. And there we go. Another one. So 66,000 Xenophilius 107 Gerald. And there we go. Long bar for Gerald. To fill in that the dependency and column uh, was it column two and there we go Gerald gonna open up bang Tetris for Zeno Gerald waiting bang Tetris Zeno bank touchdown. Zeno actually in the lead after so long of not getting a Tetris at the beginning of the, of the game. Zeno temporarily was in the lead, and a Tetris here would give them the lead again. Bank Tetris, Geraldo. There is one Zeno. Zeno back by about a half a Tetris, and now ahead by about a half a Tetris. Would love to get some rain here in Austin. That's for sure. We have not 
had much in the way of rain. So, uh, starting to get a bit dusty. The old allergies, not great. All right, there we go. Tetris for Zeno, 257. There's one for Gerald. So Zeno ahead by about a half a Tetris. <laughs> all right, Gerald with that uh, long bar hole right in the middle of the stack there. I'm gonna clear all that off finally with the long bar and a triple. And uh, Zeno with some problems. But, you know, we all have problems, so it's okay. We're here to support you. All right, there we go, Zeno, trying to get this all cleaned up. Fractal, you can still take a walk. You know, they have made, they make umbrellas. They make rain boots. Just because it's raining doesn't mean you can't take a walk. I mean, otherwise, nobody in Oregon would ever take a walk. So you can just do it. Three sixty one Zeno three thirty get some duck boots and take a walk. Tetra Zeno four oh seven three thirty seven Gerald. Uh, maybe you live stream this walk in the rain with us. Maybe you can get on your phone and get on your main channel and, and take a walk with us in the rain. Fractal in the rain. I'd watch it. 452 Zeno. 383 for Gerald. I, I, I do like the... Uh, no, it's not for everybody, but I like the smell that comes off the streets, you know? I'm sure I'm inhaling all kinds of chemically weird whatever, but I like it. Tetris, Zeno, in the lead by a good margin now. All right, 420 transition for Gerald. And there's a Tetris on 19 for Gerald. Zeno, trying not to have a complete disaster of a stack going into 19, and this is dicey. Will transition fairly awkwardly. Needs a quick long bar. Gets a dirty Tetris. Zeno. And bang, another Tetris Zeno. So there you go. Well timed for Zeno. 536. Who knows? Maybe that's a spot where just knowing where your opponent is and hearing that they got a Tetris. Maybe, uh, maybe a benefit. You don't know. That's one of the things about St. P sets. You know, if you are keeping uh, track of the commentary and you're, you know, and there's enough of a delay or you're whatever delayed enough you might be able to take advantage of some information about upcoming pieces 594 for xenophilius 589 for gerald freeman Tetris Zeno 657, 648 for Gerald. A level 23 here in game two. Game two, really consequential game. I mean, there's a huge difference between you know being up two to nothing and being tied one to one. Right, Tetrazino and another Tetrazino, 727. And another Tetris for Zeno, 758. Gerald's at 783. And Gerald ahead by about nine lines. Very clean board, Tetris. There's another one, Zeno, 822. So 
into the score lead and behind in line. So Zeno's in a good spot right now. Of course, again, with you know, like a broken record, you know, now that there's kill screen play and all that. Pace less important, although it's great to be ahead. You like to be ahead and score. Imagine that. Tetris for Gerald, 893 into level 28. And there is one for Zeno, 923, still on 27. Bang, another Tetris, 957. And there's a Tetris into 29 for Gerald, 940. Good board, low. Should be able to go for a bit. Zeno still has the score lead, still on 28. And bang, Tetris. Yeah, I think Zeno gonna go for that one, but setting up for the long bar in column nine, maybe a little aggro for Zeno, and the long bar not coming, but Zeno in the lead at A31. So Gerald with the chase down, needs to get to A31 and change, and can single and double this out. So yeah, playing very risky bisky here, probably a little too aggro. You generally want to take a good board into 29 if you can play on 29, which clearly Zeno can. So maybe a little bit of a maybe a little bit of a, a mistake here. But then again, some people just like to you know, be aggressive, and that's their style, and that's okay. But we might have some blowups here. So Gerald is less than a Tetris worth of points away now from chasing this down on level 34. And there is a triple A25, just needs another 6,000 points or so. And that will do it. So Gerald is good and gets heart number two. Oh, there we go. Very satisfying triple there. All right, we got two ready players, Zeno and Gerald. Game three in match number two of this orange bracket. Let's go. Three, two, one, Tetris. SV Netris says, if you're not Tetris ready on 229 lines, you should always burn into kill screen. Not worth. Well, there you go. Accomplished uh, and skilled player SV Netris, uh, Nestris, chiming in. All right, Fractal, they're in a debate. We need a big debate between all the good players we like that but listen I'm in I'm in no position to second guess anyone I mean I'm I got a new <laughs> I got a new PB yesterday by 2,000 points uh, I improved my PB from 759 to 761 so boy i was i was jumping up and down and uh yeah the neighbors complained but whatever all right tetrazino 89,000. Yeah, I mean, I could, I mean, I could easily skip 800k. I think that's my goal is to just skip all the 800k scores and get a 900k. That's what I want to happen. In fact, if I get a score and it's 800k and it looks like I'm gonna top out, I'm just gonna rage quit the. I'm gonna just, you know, insta quit the game. 
I'm not going to accept any 800k PV. I'm going right to 900. All right, little miss drop there for Zeno. Uh, Snow Lily says, "Vandy, come play Tetris for the non-pros." I I don't I don't have time right now. <laughs> I have so many other things going on. I can't even play my own tournament. T-spin Zeno. And yeah, people saying I should switch to tap or whatever. But no, I want to do it in DAS. I think that is that is a challenging accomplishment. If I, if I, you know, if I could figure out tapping or whatever, I'm sure that I could max out if I could tap. But, you know, DAS is its own art. How many, um, in chat, how many actual DAS max outers are there? Three oh five Gerald Freeman. And one ninety five for Zeno. Zeno built high. I'm sure somebody in chat knows. All right, two forty one Zeno, three twenty seven Gerald. Nobody in, nobody in chat knows how many DAS max outers there are. What, what are we doing? Where's our record keeping? Somebody get somebody get uh, Chris Forrest in here. He'll fix it all. And then how many, I, I don't even know, how many overall max outers are we up to? Well, that's why we need to track it. I think DAS max out is pretty, still a pretty good accomplishment. All right, Tetrazino 365, 449 for Gerald. My apologies to YouTube for talking to the Twitch chat. You know, I've been away for two months and, you know, I just kind of miss all my, all my people, you know? Well, I want to talk to him a little bit. All right, Tetris Gerald, 497. We are, uh, oh, and Zeno's just one line away from 19. A little bit of an awkward board. That, that should clear away. And is open. And bang, Tetris for Zeno. Gerald, 521, 438 for Zeno. Another one, Zeno 489. There's one, Gerald. Level 20, the blue level. Very calming level. Well, if you have a Das Max out, you should we should be collecting those. I still think that's that's a pretty good accomplishment, because it's not easy. Not that tap max out is easy, but you know, it's a different accomplishment. Like, it's not completely like, oh, he's got a tap max out. He could easily just, you know, have a DAS max out. There's still some extra work there. 558 Zeno, 636 Gerald. And Zeno, kind of in a death spiral here. That left side, no, and he's going to hang the long bar. 560 top out for Zeno. And Gerald is good and will advance to the quarterfinal match here in the orange bracket. 
against Fractal. GG's to our good friend Xeno Phileas. You can catch Xeno, uh, you know, on monthly Tetris, restreaming some of our games in the uh, what challengers and futures. And uh, Xeno is beloved and has an ardent following fan base and group of Tetris friends. So thank you so much, Xeno. Hope to see you here again. But for now, it's going to be Gerald moving up. Hey, everybody. This is your old pal, Vade Weller, host of Classic Tetris Monthly. And I'm asking you to do me a favor. If you like this video, hit thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like it, please subscribe and bang that notification bell. And follow us on Twitch at twitch.tv slash monthly Tetris. Thank you and have a nice day.